Hi. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> sorry. Hi, how are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, see if anybody's on here. Sorry, I was trying to share it on my other page, but I don't know how to do any of that. So, hi, how are you guys? Um, my name is Henry. Just in case you guys don't know who I am. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, all of my information's in the bio. I'm trying to share this to one of my other... Hey. Hi. <laughs> so where, if you guys don't know who I am, uh, my name's Henry. Uh, my Instagram is Hank and Henry. And we're about to do a full glam look. But before you do a full glam look, you gotta pop some cheap champagne. <laughs> I'm balling on a budget, so I was like, I'm gonna get some $6 champagne and we gonna have a good time. <laughs> Hi. So definitely get ready. We're gonna have some fun. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> so definitely if you don't know, uh, thank you. If you have never seen my face before, my Instagram link is in the bio as long as well as my Facebook page, which is where I do my lives most of the time. So, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I gotta have a little bit of bubbly while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> so we gotta do a little bit of sippity sip. Yep, not everybody. <laughs> so I'm gonna, so if you, the Makeup Goals page um, asked me today if I wanted to do a Facebook Live on their page. And I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> and um, so this is a little bit different since I usually do it on my page. But my page, so if you don't follow um, the Makeup Goals page, make sure you like them. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a full glam look. I got all the new Kat Von D um, Candy Johnson and Too Faced um, collab. So we're gonna be using some of those goodie. Oh, hello, hello. And um, I know we say this a lot, but it really means a lot. If you guys do not mind sharing, please share so we can turn this into a party. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jess. Oh, I love that you love my face, Brianna Perez. <laughs> So I actually was gonna try to share this onto my page through my my book my my desktop, but I don't know how to. So maybe you guys could help me. <laughs> so share um on timeline, share on a page you manage. Hank posting as to I don't really oh here we go. Yes, I did it. Post. Okay, I'm back. Now let's do some makeup. I do not know how to use computers at all, so that shit is complicated as hell. Okay, so. Hi. So we gotta take a sip. Ah, yes, okay, I'm in action. Let's get ready. <laughs> Hi there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my eyes. I always do my eyes first just because I'm a sloppy makeup artist, so I get shit everywhere. <laughs> So I am going to use the cat, the candy. I keep on wanting to call it the Cat Von D palette. Oh, uh, thank you, Armani Amor. Hey, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi from New Zealand. Hi. So look at how cute this is. Too Faced be doing all this classy stuff. So look at that. It's uh, I want candy from the, and it smells like candy. Yes, it smells like calories, bitch. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mary. So, I don't know if you guys have seen any of the new collection, but it's really, really cute. It's really, really girly. It's really homosexual. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if you guys know this and if you know anything that I do, you know I love this Kemetoquan Concealer, the Central Skin Enhancer. Look at that shit, it's almost gone. Ooh, Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, Too Faced, it's bomb. So this is Kevin Aquan. I'm gonna put it all over. I've noticed, I, I put it all over my brows too. I, I put it all over my brows because if I do my eyebrows first and then I put concealer, sometimes the redness from my natural skin tone shows through and it doesn't look that cute. So I go over it just a little bit. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. <laughs> Did the tattoo on your face hurt? No, not at all. I have tattoos everywhere and the ones that hurt the most are my hands. Am I going out tonight? Nah, I'm, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, thank you. Emily Gonzalez. Thank you. Um, I, so if you don't know who I is, um, my Instagram and my motivation and makeup page, the link is in my bio. Um, also, if you're not following Makeup Goals, they asked me to do this live on their page today, so make sure you go give them a like as well. Um, but what was the point of, oh, but if I, all the stuff about like my tattoos and all that, like I talk about that a lot. So this tattoo is Greek. It means um, Matakai, which means uh, to, do, to do with passion. Um, when can you buy my makeup? So I actually filmed the commercial for it on Thursday. All right. I'm so excited. And I'm a sloppy makeup artist. Like I'm not all clean and precise. I just throw shit everywhere and hope for the best. Sometimes you just gotta pray. Ha la la la. Oh, hi Lorraine. Oh. Oh, Victoria, I'm sorry. That, 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 Harvey's been tearing some shit up. That's ridiculous. It's so horrible. But luckily, there's been a lot of, like, support for it, so. Oh, hi, Angelica. So, my cosmetics line, I've been working on it for, um, a couple years now. Sorry, I'm trying to reorganize this. Um, uh, I'm, I've been working on it for a couple years now. Um, we did show people the pack the the link for it's also in my little bio here um we we're gonna be showing what's in the um, what what's inside within the next week i was just waiting for my um graphic designer to give me my packaging back so like this is the packaging of it and then it has like two spots on the inside a mirror this is all acrylic and then it has something that goes in the bottom so Everybody has seen this, but they don't know what's inside it yet. So we're filming the commercial for it this week, and then we're sharing it the week after. So yeah, it's exciting. So if a lot of you guys don't know who I am, I guess I'll just uh, sit here and tell you a little bit about myself. And also, please share this so we can get some more people on here. Um, so I've been in the beauty industry for a long time, but I maybe like six years ago I got onto the park development and branding side so I've worked with some of the biggest companies in park development branding um, consulting a lot of social media brands as well as a few big conglomerate brands and then I've always been into makeup but about maybe three years ago I really started to showcase my makeup more so the the Hank and Henry which is my Instagram name and my makeup line Hank is me without with Hank is me with makeup and Henry is me without makeup. So Henry is the heart, Hank is the art. It's almost like the Hank is the Ziggy Stardust to my David Bowie, if that makes sense. Oh, thank you, Greta. Oh my God, I love the work. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kathleen. All right, back to work. Oh, have a good night, Erica. Okay, so, so I'm using this this palette from the Can Candy Johnson collab with Too Faced, and it this is the color pastry. This shit's really pigmented. I've been meaning to watch one of your lives, but I keep messing. Up. I'm going through some shit, so this is just what I need. Oh, Haley, I'm sorry about that. You know what? 
every, every troubled situation is just a learning experience to help make yourself better. You know, my grandmother, when I was younger, she says, because I've had a crazy life, and she always used to say, you know what? You know, you should be thankful sometimes for all the shit you go through. And I'm like, why? That's rude. And she said, because somebody in the universe thinks you're tough enough to handle it. So that means you're going to be able to help people in the future with it because of it. So every, every struggle that I've ever gone through is to make me stronger and potentially help somebody because I can handle it. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Got to blend this shit out. Blend it. What you drinking tonight? I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Uh, 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 I'm drinking some champs, some champagne. If you want some all natural cosmetics, pay me. Uh, uh, no. If you want me to use your stuff, you need to uh, PM me, girl. I'll be down. I'll be down. What does PM mean? That means like personal message, right? I don't understand the lingo all these kids have today. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, hello, Tina. So now I'm going to use hot chocolate, which is a little bit of a darker color. I'm going to get right in there. Yes. This palette has um, a lot of colors and a lot of pigmentation, which I like. I love that shit. I love when shit's all pigmented. <laughs> that was the best thing I could have heard. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm... I'm well, Haley, I hope, I hope you you take that as a, you know, a lot of times when stuff happens, everyone takes it as something bad, but it doesn't have to be something bad. Um, I'm doing a full glam, from from face to face to lips to liner to everything. We ain't playing around today, not today. And so whenever I do my makeup, I'm. I'm more concerned about the blending of the colors and then after I get all the colors in, I go in and then I add more depth and dimension. Oh, new viewer, hi. <laughs> so sorry if I look a little crazy right now. <laughs> so then on the lid, and please ask me as much questions as you want. Yes, I'm so happy to actually see you live. I always have to rewatch you after you're done. Oh, Katie, thank you. You came in at the right time, girl. So this one's called Sparkling Cider. It's cute. Oh, thank you, Heather. I know, you know what? My friend Angelica was the one who told me. She was like, you gotta get on, you gotta get on these uh, Facebook Lives. People are more engaging and, um, you know, you get you to talk more to people and they don't cut you off all quick. So I was like, all right. And they've been going well. So I'm like, bitch, I'm down. Hey, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is my turn watching <laughs> I love it what are you going to be doing today so I'm going to well what am I going to be doing today that's so special everything I do is special <laughs> um, but I'm doing a full glam and I'm using some new products that I got like the Candy Johnson collab with Too Faced uh, thank you Ruby this is such a lead taking a mini break from. oh you know what it's so crazy I'm so sorry if any of you are, are in Texas right now uh, dealing with the hurricane because that shit is no joke. I'm so sorry. It's so crazy. New viewer, you have amazing time. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you guys, okay, so you guys, obviously, if you don't follow me, all my information's in my bio, but um, these, my teeth that you guys like, these are porcelain veneers. So I just got these maybe three months ago. And before that, my teeth were all kinds of Velociraptor-ish. You know, they were all crooked. They had their own zip codes. It was kind of crazy. But, I, my, you know, one of, my, one of my uncles used to mess around and be like, you look like you've been chewing rocks. I'm like, oh, <laughs> your mama. Oh, wait, that's my aunt. <laughs> so, I, I, um, they, were, they were costly, but I, did, I saved up. So, instead of, um, it was either fix my teeth or get a car and I'm like I'd rather fix my teeth and it's changed like everything for me oh come on book come on BK come on Brooklyn <laughs> uh, it was very expensive uh, it were almost 3,000 a tooth and I had 16 um,
but if you ever do think about getting them they do have payment options they do have lesser more inexpensive versions that are that so mine are when they shave your teeth down and then they put an entire porcelain cap on they have some that um, they're cheaper but they just go over um, so you have options they're not that unattainable oh happy Tuesday Ursula is that your real name that's dope why can't you like my Facebook is it not letting you um, I think it's it's it should be the link that Hank and Henry motivation oh thank you Angelica <laughs> and thank you for anybody who's sharing this it's so weird to like know that this just you know when you're doing Instagram live once you're done you don't have, you're like it only stays for like 24 hours so if you be talking some BS if you be talking some mess it's gonna go away <laughs> but this no <laughs> so I'm like I gotta watch out <laughs> oh thank you okay so so now I'm gonna take this what is it hot chocolate So I have a lot of lid space, so I like making, I like those like, those bedroom lines. Are those like, oh, hey, mira. The panty droppers. That's what I call it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandra. Sandra Gra Garcia. And you know, I always tell everybody, it's always better to add on lightly and then build up than to put too much and have to over blend it. Yes, we're not playing today. <laughs> um, why do you always pull your shirt? Oh, why do I always pull my shirt? Because I have fat girl syndrome where I always feel like if my clothes are too tight to my skin that you could see all my long cuts. So I gotta pull it out to make it more comfortable for myself. Uh, that's the truth. If you got, a, if you a little hefty, you know what I'm saying. You know, how, you, you feel me, right? <laughs> Thank you guys. So I'm just trying to blend this bitch. Gotta blend it out. Um, dark shadows are definitely okay for smaller eyes. Um, it's just all about your placement. If you have smaller eyes, I wouldn't do a, sh a look like this. I would maybe do a smoky lid and blend it out. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> do you talk like right? I always tell people I always go like that. Okay, so in the last two years, I gained like 30 pounds. I used to be so much skinnier, but I had a bad breakup and a and you know, I, a bitch did eat a lot. Sorry for my my language. But, um, I'm, and I'm one of those people that if I go through anything in my life, now I'm over it. I'm totally over it. But I'm like one of those people in my life that when I get stressed out or like depressed, I don't get skinny. I get, I get thick. I get real thick. <laughs> oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> so, okay. And now what are we going to do? So I have a whole bunch of new products here. So I'm trying to use them evenly so this is going to be sparkling cider from the candy johnson but i'm going to use oh thank you i'm i'm a i'm a stalk you and follow your social media yes i love stalkers stalkers are hot i'm into that kinky shit bitch you better go <laughs> that's pretty right i'm about that I like putting stuff on with my fingers if it's like a metallic foil because I feel it grabs a lot more pigment than putting it on with the brush. We ain't playing around today. We are gonna do? Aw, oh, thank you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> thank you, cat. Keep sharing. Oh, thank you. See, Angelica Torres, she's the MVP. She's always trying to get people to share this. Thank you. She, girl, I love you, ass. Can you please make a shout out to my boyfriend, Wesley? He loves you. Oh, hi, Wesley. Are your boyfriend or best friend? I don't know. BFF or BF? It's the same shit. 
It must be my birthday. I finally come. Oh, Karina. Yay. You guys are so nice. Uh, much love to all you people in Texas right now. Okay, so if you don't have this, uh, ink, this epic ink liner from NYX, see, I have a collaboration of uh, makeup. I have some stuff is expensive, some is cheap, some is nice, some is ugly. But this, this is inexpensive, but this works so good. What should you do to grow your eyebrows fast because it took long to grow? Um, well, I never... Brows are genetic, so, y you know, if your brows aren't growing, just just draw them. I'm about to draw mine. I overdraw the hell out of them. Because my brows are, they're, they're, they're little. I make them, ooh, bombastic. Where's your go-go juice? My go-go juice is right here. This time I'm being a classy lady since this isn't my page. This is Makeup Goals page. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep it classy with the champs. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so I love using this ink liner because it works bomb. It's amazingly easy to apply and it's cheap. So you get to throw it away as soon as you're done. Uh, people always ask me like what I used to suck at doing wing eyeliner but I always say the best way to do wing eyeliner is just to go don't like try to be slow and draw a line no bitch just go You'd be like sus because if not and you're like me you're gonna fuck it up cuz I have a shaky hand and then I always go with concealer later and I clean it up been going crazy about being flooded in the house. So glad to watch. Oh, Amy. So if you're watching and you're in Texas right now, we better have a good time. We about to laugh. We about to, you know, we about to, we about to make some jokes. We about to get some education. So cheers to you in Texas. Dealing with Hurricane Harvey. I know that shit's probably horrible. Actually, I don't know because I ain't never been through that and I don't act like I have. But I can't imagine. I just hope nothing but the best for you guys. Oh, you're watching from Guam. That's awesome. I always tell people if I do one eyeliner really good, that probably means that my other side is going to be whack as fuck. So let's pray. That's pretty good, right? I don't know. I think I want it thicker. And <laughs> that's what she said. It. <laughs> Got cabin fever, been stuck since Friday night. I'm so, so what is cabin fever exactly? I'm so sorry. I mean, it's probably nothing good. Oh, yay. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> we, we get an end today. You know, there's a lot of shitty shit happening in the world, but we're going to have some fun for this next hour. We're going to talk about life. So it's funny. Um. If you if you haven't seen me before, I always say that my my little cousin, the way he pronounced life is Lipe. That's how he reads it in a book. So whenever I be looking fierce, I be like, damn, this is giving me Lipe right now. You don't even know. Oh, I get so nervous when I do eyeliner. Like I can't breathe. Like I'm seriously like. <gasps> Sorry, if I'm not if I'm not responding, it's just because of this. I like to read all the comments, but when it comes to eyeliner, you just gotta give me a moment. You know, I tell people too. You know, I've been teaching makeup for just as long as I've been doing makeup, and I always tell people, uh, eyeliner is supposed to be sisters not twins so if, if if sometimes you know like sometimes if i do one eyeliner higher than the other i'll just look at people like this because if you look at them sideways they can't tell <laughs> hold your breath and pray for that wing eyeliner would be perfect oh i know right come on come on jeebus get it right
So you gotta give all that. Oh, smira sas. <laughs> and then what I do whenever I do that, this is this is the mad. This is the actual the secret. This is the real secret right here. If you don't be doing this, you gotta get with it. You get some concealer. I'm using the Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer, and I'm gonna go right here. Sas. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Sharpest. Ooh. That's how you get that, that chola knife. Yeah, stab you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Monica Delgado. Oh, I know, right? Hold on. I'm going to do my eyebrows right now. You don't even know. Always and forever. Each moment with you. We're not even playing. <laughs> You're so... Oh, thank you. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is... I'm a little biased. This was the first... This was the first brow palette I ever bought. It was from Anastasia. And I just really love the colors in it. So I use dark brown. And because this is my makeup and I don't use it on other bitches. Or other girls. Sorry. I'll be... I won't be cussing. Um, I lick my, my brush to get it wet. <laughs> and then I start at the bottom. And so I always tell people my like method and everything is just to do it. Just do it like the Nike sign. Oh, come on, cat. Oh, cat's in here. That's my homegirl. Are your eyebrows going to be twins or sisters? No, they're going to be sisters. They'll be lucky. One might be the sister and one, one might be the stepsister because my eyebrows are, are crazy. Uh-oh, hold on. So one of my eyebrows is, so I actually have sass brows. So if you, if you don't know what a sass brow is, it means this brow goes higher and this one kind of doesn't. So I usually have to draw this one a little bit higher and this one lower so that they say, e so that they're even. Hi, Gabriella Lujan. <laughs> I'm lucky if I can make my eyebrows look like cousins. Even like illegitimate cousins where you don't know if they're real cousins, they just share the last name. So you just pretend they're cousins. I have a lot of cousins like that. And then my grandma's all, just because you have the same last name doesn't mean you're actually related. And I'm all, we're all we all come from the mother Africa. She's all, shut the fuck up. <laughs> So sorry, when it comes to brows and liner, I try to concentrate as much as I can. And even if I don't like like it, I go in with the concealer and I clean it up. Because sometimes I draw my brows way too big and I just look surprised or scared. Okay, well. <laughs> oh my God, can you give, oh my God, you're hilarious. Oh, thank you, Perla. Sometimes you just gotta go in there, clean it up. Sass. Oi. Sass. Sass. So I always do that to even up my brows a little bit because sometimes my brows get real, real crazy. So I made them a little bit smaller so that I don't scare any of the neighborhood cats. Yeah, hey, hey. Thank you guys for sharing. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Hold on, I need a little bit more. I'm not playing around with this bubbly. Brows are so hard to get right. Well, you know what? I, I always change my brows. Sometimes I do them real defined like they are right now. Sometimes I do them really light and wispy. 
so you can do them however you want that's the one cool thing about brows is that brows never really stay in trend it's always changing Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. There's so oh, thank you, Victoria. She be loving my wing eyeliner. Thank you. Hello. So how are you guys? So if you guys don't know about me, um, my Instagram, is, all my information's up on here in the little bio on top. But I just started my Facebook, my Facebook live page. And um, just because I, I, and it's called Hank and Henry Makeup and Motivation, just because if you know my lives, I do talk about makeup, but I also talk about everyday stuff. If you have questions about anything, please feel free to ask. I, I, you know, I say a lot that in our industry, there's a lot of faces, but not a lot of voices. So, you know, I think it's really important for people to speak their mind because we have a lot more in common than we have not in common live your life uh, thank you uh, thank you Amanda for watching I'm sorry that you're going through all that in Houston that shit's crazy I'm so sorry that and that I feel like that hurricane came out of nowhere it literally did okay Sorry, you guys. I'm, I swear I'll pay attention to you right now. I just gotta finish. Just gotta clean this bitch up. You're such a poppy chulo. <laughs> it's for real? I ain't even that Mexican. Just kidding. Okay, now I can start paying attention to you guys. That's good enough. I always go back to my brows at the end and kind of like fix it up a little bit just because sometimes the brows be getting on my nerves. So I just learned to, you know, just live with it. Mm-hmm. I ain't even mad at it. Come on, brows. All right. Pay attention to us. We're here to pay attention to you. Oh, <laughs> damn, the bitch is bossy. Y'all crazy up on this shit. That's a cool, I like that. I like when you're needy. Oh my God, this month, you're great. I needed something different. Been stuck up on the apartment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an old lady, I can say that. <laughs> oh, you saw me at the pier? Oh, I had a beach party at the pier not that long ago. It was crazy. I'm never doing a beach party on a weekend day because... There was, it was just too many people there. Please tell us your I got a dick story. Oh my God. So, so if you are a part of my, my Hank and the Night Owls group. So the Night Owls are where all my followers call each other. And we had this thing going around where every, we our like keyword whenever we start a live is I got a dick. And everybody's like, why do you guys always say I got a dick? And I was just like, well, when I first started when I was, there's this one event where I was wearing full on glam, but when I do makeup, I don't wear women's clothes. I wear suits, I wear shoes, I'm dressed, I got, you know, got my hair done. So it's more like the artistry. I don't, I don't get in drag. And this guy came up to me and was just like, hey, are you a girl? And I was all, nah, I got a dick. <laughs> so ever since then, all, all the girls who follow me on our, um, our support group page, um, always says that. Oh, they always say that whenever they log in. That's just hilarious. That's our password. I'm like, what's the pat? So at like, at like uh, the Knicks um, face awards and stuff like that, you just see random girls from across the aisle just be like, I got a dick. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Karina, I better get off work. Gonna make that money. Okay. Yeah. So see, 
even though I did my eyeshadow, I still always go back and just add a little bit more depth. Mm hmm we getting it. It's starting to come through. Yay, I caught you. I caught in time for your eyes, yes. Um, so this is scuba mascaras um from the bomb. It's pretty bomb. Thank you. Oh, thank you everybody. It keeps telling me that you guys are sharing it. So thank you so much for sharing it. I like when there's a lot of people on here. We make it into a party. Y'all ain't even playing. This is gonna be a party. Party people. I went to the bank today to go deposit some money and the bank teller said I didn't look my age and I was like, oh, <sighs> hey, and uh, he was cute too. I was like, bitch, take me on a date. I know you got insurance. Don't fuck with me. You got that 401k. <laughs> yes, I don't care. If you, if, you, if you got a 401k, you got insurance, you got that blue shield, red cross. Got that Obamacare? Oh, I'm yours. <laughs> okay, so these lashes, I'm obsessed with these lashes. These are um, a brand called Naboomsum. And they're mink lashes. I can't really see it. But they're super feathered. And the band isn't... Some, sometimes with mink lashes, the band's really, really hard. Um, this is perfect. And... Just so if you guys do or do not know, I have a group on here and the group is called uh, The Night Owls of Hank and Henry and I told you what we're called for but I created the group because there's a lot of makeup groups, even like Makeup Goals which is an amazing group, really cool, but I wanted a group where people can come and also get support too. I always tell people there's a lot of, there's a lot of faces in this industry but not a lot of voices and and when I started doing motivational speaking, because I'm the oldest of 11 kids, my mom's um, uh, a drug addict. Um, I've been through my own share in this world. And I realized when I started talking about it that a lot of people have those same issues. So I created the group and it's called the Night Owls of Hank and Henry. Um, it's a private group um, because I don't want people to see what you guys are posting. But it's a group where that if you're having a bad day, especially right now with the hurricane you can go into that group you can say what your problems are and all the admins are ex-students of mine are current students they're friends of mine so it's a it's a cool community of people who you can talk about makeup you can laugh do inappropriate means or you know dick jokes but it's also like if you're having a bad day you can go and say like I'm not feeling good today and we're all there to support you and there's been a lot of situations where we started that and some girls will go on there and be like, I don't feel good today, or I'm going to surgery today, or today I'm depressed. And we go there, and we literally just, we, we give each other support. You know, depression is one of the, one of the, one of the leading causes of uh, suicide. And it's just so sad to see that there's so many people who love this beauty industry, but they don't have anybody to talk to. They feel alone, so... Um, you know, if you ever feel like that's something that'd be interested, you'd be interested. In, the group is called the Night Owls of Hank and Henry. Cause we the Night Owls, bitch. Who, who? The group is called the Night Owls of Hank and. I'll put the group in here too because I I didn't actually put the group in the bio. Oh, you know what I didn't put on there too? I didn't. I don't think I put my YouTube channel on there. If you guys want to know about all my tattoos, also they're all in my YouTube channel. These lashes are bomb, though, right? Yes, bitch. These, you know what these are called? The panty droppers. Oh, Mira. No, they're called Bella. I look like Channing, T Channing Tatum when I smell. I ain't never got that. I've got that. I look like Macaulay Culkin. I get that all the time. They'd be like, you look like that Home Alone boy. I was like, bitch, your mother. <laughs> I would love to send some press and loose glitters. Um, you definitely hit up my email. My email, I think, is in my page. Um, it'll go straight to um, all of like my team. And then they'll get all that information so you can send PR package. Well, you know what? Um, uh, what is it? McKenna New? McKenna? 
it is easy for me to put lashes on myself, but as soon as I put it on somebody else, I'm like, dirt, dirt. I'm gonna look up, no look down. I use Duo. So, okay, next thing, what are we doing? Oh, okay. So I always tell people, just so you know, I ain't a girl, I'm a boy, I got a hairy booty, I got you know, itty bitty man parts, so I have to put this all over my face. What is this? This is concealer, it is thick. Now, if you a pretty girl, and you, well, I know some girls out there with five o'clock shadows, it's all right, bitch, I'm right there with you, power to the people. Um, but for you pretty skinned girls who don't have all that discoloration and stuff, um, you don't need to put all this stuff on your face. But this Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer is super thick and I have to use it because if I put this on with, if I put foundation on without this, my dark circles and my gray undertones come out real fast. And um, just, just a side note for you guys, if there's anybody being a hater on here, please show them love. I, you know, I always tell people like my grandfather who taught me all my one-liners that I use in all my motivational speaking classes. He always told me like if somebody ever brings negativity to you and you respond, you just became their slave. And he always said, do you want to be a slave? And I'm like, no. He said, well, then don't respond to it. The fact that you take any time of your day to give energy back to anybody, it don't matter who, you become their slave. So I ain't a slave to nobody. So don't be a slave either. So if anybody act, isn't acting right, don't mind them. No business. Because that's what they do. They're looking to become slave owners. And bitch, not today and not with me. Ooh, ooh. Or I'll be like, bitch, you look like a goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, sorry. Trying to. Oh, thank you. Yeah, go. My, my I my Instagram is what I'm on the most, but I'm trying to, you know, do more stuff everywhere. So this is actually Kat Von D's um, Locket Foundation in shade 49. <laughs> yeah, so if you ever have any questions about my tattoos, my YouTube channel is Hank and Henry. And so the reason why I put the light first um, is because when I put the foundation over, it, it, it doesn't make it so bright, so it tones it down. <laughs> thank you, Sky. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you gotta get right with those Instagram pics. Gotta hit that filter, get that face tune, get them angles. Um, I got this new uh, vanity mirror from Impressions Vanity, and that shit is bomb. <laughs> Boom. Is that the shade close to Mac NC40? I don't have a clue. I used to work for Mac for seven years, but I haven't worked, I haven't used anything from Mac foundation wise in maybe four years. So I'm not really referenced with their shades anymore. Um, and so maybe, I don't know if it's, it's, I know it's NC because there's more yellow in it. So this Kat Von D is shade 49. I feel like it's more of like in a 40, 42 maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe even a 35 if you were trying to, if you were trying to compare it with Mac. But I'm not sure. I was wondering when you were going to be live. Oh, yay. Yeah, bitch. I'll be getting them parties started. Oh yes, you know what I like about about um, about uh, sh cheap champagne is it still tastes bomb? Cause this shit is cheap, it's six dollars, but I'm balling on a budget right now. <laughs> oh, hi Rebecca and Alexis. I don't think he's having more classes until next year. I'm having a class um, in September, 
September 15th in North Hollywood and then I'm having another one at the end of September in Florida. It was actually supposed to be in the beginning of September but I got some new business opportunities that I have to take um, with some really big high-end brands so I'm gonna have to reschedule that one which they don't know yet so I'm gonna have to call them tomorrow but that one's gonna be in North Hollywood I mean that one's gonna be in Hollywood Florida at the makeup club love that place <laughs> are you going to Gen Beauty New York no um, I don't go unless they're flying me out like they said they would give me a free ticket but I'm like are you gonna pay for my hotel are you gonna I'm not gonna travel for makeup shows unless they they're taking me bitch I don't like traveling that much to be honest first time watching Aw, thank you Naomi from when w Wichita Kansas yeah yeah pageant girl taking notes yes take the notes girl the notice we're in playing today. Hi, Henry and everyone. Love that you're on. Thank you. I, you know what? I, I usually, I, that's why everybody, even though my logo of my company is an owl, my, my, my followers were the ones who decided to start calling uh, us the night owls because we were always up so late doing Instagram lives. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, wow. We're almost at a thousand views. Thank you guys for sharing. That really means a lot. Damn. Dude. <laughs> started from the bottom. Now we're here. Oh, started from the bottom. Now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love me some jersey. Also, too, if you see my brows at the end, I go in with brow gel and it lightens and shapes them. So my eyes are not completely done yet. You thought you thought they were done. But look at that liner. Oh, mira, wow. Oh, made a while. So I'm actually, I'm not sure yet. I think I might do a glossy lid. I'm so obsessed with glossy lids right now. You have no idea. First time watch. Oh, oh, text. Come on. Much love to my Texas. To my Texas P. Third time watching. Oh, thank you, Fel Felicity. Just finished dyeing my mom's hair so I can interact now. Yeah, come on, Lorraine. Lorraine Rivera. Is it where? I love your teeth. Is it? Well, if you guys didn't hear earlier, my teeth are uh, porcelain veneers. Um, I have 16. I have eight on top and eight on bottom. So, you know, don't get don't get disturbed, bitch. They build these hoes. We ain't real. We ain't real. We bought this. I had to save some pretty pennies for it. But, you know. You know, and all jokes aside, my teeth changed my life. Because my teeth before used to be not only hella dark... But they also um, were all crooked. They they were looking like you could do tic tac toe on them, just be hopscotching. Um, so it was always an insecure, especially as a guy wearing makeup. I already have such masculine features that when you don't have nice teeth, it makes it look even worse. Ooh, look at that. That's that's this color right here from the uh, Kat Von D cream. This is the cream um, locket contour. Shade and Light, oh wait, Shade and Light Contour Cream. I'm a new follower and I really enjoy watching you. Oh, thank you. You know what? Because we here, we're we building relationships. Oh, watching in Jacksonville, Florida. Come on, what's up? Oh yes, come on, Jacksonville. <laughs> thank you. You know, you know, you just got to do it. We're trying to keep it real. Because these hoes ain't loyal. Yes. So, I only put cream right here, and then I set it with every. I set everything before I do powder. If you guys do not have this or do not using or are not using this, you need to get your life right. Uh, thank you, Sky Ray. How do you say that? How do you, print? girl? I don't know how to say your last name. Can you syllable that out for me? I need you to syllable it out. Is it Re Bri Brig Brignac? Brignac? Paddywag? Give a dog a bone. I, I need you to syllable it out for me. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. You know what I like about here too is it says everybody's name. On Instagram Live, it's like it's like MUA Magic Unicorn Escalution. And I'm like, bitch, what? Can you syllable that shit out? Because I don't know what the hell how to say your name and it's confusing. <laughs> Please keep us in your prayers. Oh, you know, if anybody's here watching from Houston, 
or anywhere in Texas that was affected by Harvey. I hope I could give you some laughs. I hope you maybe some knowledge, some educations, but mainly some laughs. Let's play with makeup and laugh a little bit. Maybe even cry a little bit. Who knows, bitch? The night is still young. So I've been doing... So if you guys don't, you know, obviously a, there's going to be a lot of you here who don't know who I am. Um, ew, that sounded so, like, bougie. <laughs> people who don't know who I am but that's not what I mean what I mean is like what I do for a living and I do a lot of product development and branding but I also do motivational speaking so I started doing it about 10 years ago um, when I got custody of my mom she was in jail and the court said well she has to go to somebody so I had her come live with me and I stopped doing makeup at the time and I it was about maybe 12 years ago and I moved to Riverside, California. I got a job working at a warehouse for Target in Fontana, meaning I was throwing boxes into trailers. Um, but it allowed me to have a job to help my mom get off the streets. And I would go to all her NA and AA classes, which if you don't know what that is, that's um, Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. And I used to have to go so I could sign her in um, and get her little paper for the courts signed. And one day they asked if I wanted to speak and I'm like why bitch I'm not a druggie she is why do I gotta speak and they're like no like do you want to speak and and tell people why they should stay sober for their kids and so I started doing that and it grew more and more and more into me starting going to do it at community colleges and some bigger campuses and then it transitioned over into uh, the beauty industry I did a keynote speak for Fame Expo in Los in Pasadena and they asked me to talk about my glitter eyes because I first got real popular on Instagram for my glitter looks and I told them um, okay so I went and I decided not to talk about makeup at all and I talked about my life and what how the beautiful I mean how the horrible problems that I've dealt with turned into beautiful results because of who I could help and it just got bigger and bigger from there. So I tell people, you know, people love the makeup industry, but also uh, people always forget that we're all still human. We have so much more in common and we have our own struggles. And people are so busy to look perfect on a little app on a phone that they don't show their true selves anymore. And that's kind of sad. So not me, bitch. I don't care. You gotta be the change you wanna see in the world. How do you know if winged liner looks right on you? Um, um, I always say just try it. I don't believe in makeup rules. I believe you make the rules. So if you make, if you find a way that you think it looks good on you, then rock it. I always tell people too, like, I am not judgmental when it comes to how you want to look. Like, people are like, oh, what do you think about plastic surgery? And what do you think about this? I'm like, bitch, live your life. Live your life. I, what did I, if you guys watched my last lives, what did I say, bitch? If you want to look like a cat lady, then meow. If you want to look like a goat, then bet. I don't really care. I don't care what people look like, what they do, all that shit. As long as they're being good people, that's all I care about. So this is hula bronzer. This shit is mine. I've been wanting to be a motivational speaker since I lost my best friend. Well, you know what? Start. That's the cool thing about social media. There's nothing stopping you. Like there's a good there's a like a good thing from Steve, Steve Harvey, like a like a motivational clip that he did and it's called Jump. And it's like sometimes when, you know, you just got to get out there and jump. Same thing I say to a lot of my friends who are makeup artists or st are wanting to start their own brand is you got to just get out there and start doing it. Just get out there. Just get it up. Just get it up. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. You know, I used to tell people when I first, so my mom wind up going back to drugs. Um, I think it's, okay, I was 20, so almost five, five, six years ago. And I was working two full time, I was working at a warehouse Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 12 hour shifts. And then on my days off, I was freelancing at Mac or I was out here working, I was hustling. And when my mom, uh, but I, I, I needed to pay bills. I wasn't, ball, I wasn't balling at all. I was still like barely making ends meet. Um, but 
when I moved out here, I said, you know what? Screw it. I, I literally, I was in debt from paying from all my mom's medical bills. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. Sold everything in my apartment. Came, moved to Sun Valley in, um, in Los Angeles. And just because I knew a lot of cool people and a lot of big influencers already, I thought I was going to make it. But nope. I came out here and I hit the I hit the floor, but I was going downhill fast. I went through all my savings. I I literally had to work twice as hard, and then I quit my my target job, which was my ma major source of income. And there was a point where I was sleeping in my car. But you know what my grandfather told me? My grandfather said, "Do not fake it until you make it. Fake it until you understand it. And when you understand it, learn it, live it, love it, breathe it." So. You know, there was times where because all of my friends are like these cool social media people already, I would literally, I would sneak into so many beauty events and if my friend was going, I'd be like, oh yeah, what time are you going? Oh, 730? I would wait in the bushes till I see them, then I would jump out and then I would walk in with them and they'd be like, you're not on the list and I'm like, uh, uh, they sent me a confirmation and they're like, oh, oh, like you're here with, oh, you know this person and this, oh, okay, come in, come in. And then when I went in, I didn't talk to none of the beauty influencers. I talked to the brand owners, the product developers, the marketing team, the PR team, and I was just hustling, bitch, give me your number, let's go have dinner. And they were like, oh my God, everybody loves Henry. So it was literally like, I literally, there was a time when I went to out to a dinner with the biggest influencers, Crispy, Desi, um, Palafoxia, Patrick Starr, Manny, and this was maybe like four years ago. This is when social media was just like starting to boom. And I had $10 to my name. I got like a fucking salad without dressing because that dressing was an extra dollar twenty-five. But I just wanted to be in there because I knew there was a bunch of other people there. But I knew I was good. I just needed an opportunity. And I never wanted to be in, in the social media. I've always wanted to be in the background. I've always wanted to do product development, branding, and I know I'm good at it. I just need a chance. And you know, Anastasia was one of the first brands, uh, this brand, Hot Makeup Professional. Um, NYX, they were the first brands that really gave me an opportunity. NYX, oh God, even to this day, gives me so much opportunity. I've worked now with 11 other brands, whether it's product development, uh, consulting, social media outreach, uh, mar uh, product development, concept development. So, you know, I always tell people, don't worry about the struggle because there's always gonna be struggle. It's about hitting the floor. You gotta hit that floor and start running, bitch, like this. Or else you're just gonna be sit there, you're just gonna be s sitting there going like this on your phone saying, oh, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do this. Cause that used to be me for reals for really really you know this industry is huge there's enough room for everybody er buddy oh uh, thank you Vanessa let me know what bushes to wait for you at See, that's how you do it. I probably could get you in. So I'm using my highlighter. I'm using Melt Stargazer. It's it's $38, so it's a little pricey, but it is so worth it. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite highlighter. And I use it with a little bit of um, uh, uh, Mystified from Gerard Cosmetics, because I like to intense the pigmentation. Watch, are you ready? Yeah, oh. Oh, bitch. See? Oh, God fucking. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That fucking highlighter is bomb. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mira. Tan bonito. How nice. Yes, giving you all of that. I can't believe. Oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. Work that highlighter. FTP, yeah, fuck that puta.
Yes, that highlighter be popping. Are we living? Oh, thank you, Paul. Yes, it's that glow life. We about that glow life. Okay, then now I am going to use. Where are you at? So I'm going to, where the hell, I don't even know where I put it. Oh, so this is cap, nope, this isn't the right one. Nope, hold on, I'll find it. Okay, so this is a brand called Sorme, and it's their True Line, True Line lip liner in a fair. I love nude lip liners. Um, people highlight their lips to accentuate it if they're doing a, a like any so like my Highlights here, but I would draw under so in person you could still see that highlight on top of it And it's more oh, well this is dried out so we ain't using that one psych um, It's more like an effect when people do it on their cupid's bow, you don't really see it as much unless you're with them like in person. Then you can actually see it a lot better. Uh, what time? I don't actually know what time it is right now. I think it's, what time is it in LA right now, you guys? And then I'm going to use, what is this? This is from the Katie and Desi collab. This is called No Shade. I overdraw the shit out of my lips. The Desi and Katie collab was really nice. Even like Anna from Dose of Colors, I've known her for so long. I helped work her booth at her very first launch of um, Dose of Colors when they just had lashes and lipsticks. And then I'm using this. So this is the NYX Cosmic Metals. Oh, they're so bomb. And then after I apply it, I go in with a lip brush and I blend it all in. Cause you gotta blend it. Damn, damn, this is glam. That's, this is glowy glam, bitch. This is the glowy wet panty dropper. <sighs> you better get it right. Hold on, I'll pay attention to you guys right now. Got on, um, but looks amazing on point. And I like that it's I like that it's creamy and not glossy. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. Are we living? See, and that's when you start getting, start smizing and shit like. Oh my! <laughs> you weren't even ready. No, wait, you guys, y'all still ain't ready. Cause now what we do is we go in. Bitch, I'm gonna show you all the magic right now. This is where it starts to happen. So I go in, and then I carve it out a little bit. I bring in that definition. Yes, come on, define. I gotta get in that definition, bitch. What is that definition, bitch? Syllable it out. Gotta get in that definition, blend it out just a little bit, not too much. Don't be over blending shit. Where's my brush at? Where's my blending brush at? 
只是，呀。You just want to give a little bit of that blendation, syllabulation. Hold on, that's why I'm gonna pay attention right now. And then this is the trick. So this is from a brand called Girl Actic. So this is their lip pearls, and then this is their clear gloss. As you can see, I use it a lot, so it's no longer clear, but I get it. And I put some X. Now this formula of this gloss is amazing because you can put it over eyeshadow, and it doesn't. It takes a long time before it starts breaking down the eyeshadow, like a long time. So I get it. See that glossy lid? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my. Oh my lord. Mira, wow. <laughs> yeah, right? And you know it's funny. I've done a I've done a look like this, and I got out to an event, and I was there for six hours, and it still wasn't broken down. Oh, oh, Leticia, I'm glad you're having a better day. No, these are the same lashes I had on the other night. They're like my favorite lashes. Um, these are awesome, and then so are Lily lashes and Ash Comb. They're like one of my favorites. Was that? No, it was gloss. It was gloss from this Girl Lactic gloss. I swear to God, it does not crease at all. I've literally had it on at an event for like five hours, and it didn't. It, it didn't. Um, it didn't crease. And by the time I was done, there was a little bit of separation, but you couldn't tell it unless you looked really close. But it was. Like, it was like so. Like little. It was so little. It was so little. Yeah, so the Night Owl group, our support group that we have for anybody who's having a hard day, um, is it's called, you just search it, it's the Night Owls, the Night Owls of Hank and Henry Beauty. Oh, so this is a brand called Sorme. It's Sorme Cosmetics on Instagram. Their eyeliners, oh, so bomb, they're so pigmented. So are their lip liners. Just don't leave the cap off on them. Oh, love this. I always put a little bit of white underneath my eye to make my eye pop a little bit. Because my eyes are, are, my lids are big, but my eyes are small. You know what, if, um, I didn't show you guys, but the primer I used was the Smashbox um, Studio Fix, or not Studio Fix, Studio Finish. That shit is bomb, bomb. Like it literally keeps my foundation on forever. And ever. The Night Owls is uh, Facebook. So the Night Owls of Hank, so in my link is my Instagram page my Facebook makeup and motivation page, which is where I do my lives um, or where I um, do like some of my motivation stuff. And then the Night Owls of Hank and Henry Beauty, that's a private group where you can go, um, anybody will be accepted, but it's where you can go and kind of just talk about your day. If you're having any struggles, you can talk about makeup. We're a support group, so we're there just to support each other. And then, um, and then there's my my Instagram for my makeup line that's coming out in October. That still I have I and I shoot the commercial for it this week, so it's about to be done. So are you guys living for this look or no? Or was it like wiggity wet? Some girls, I remember some girl last time, she was just like, 
can you just do natural makeup? And I'm all, no, bitch, I'm a boy. I want to look glam as fuck. You know what? Because if I do natural makeup, I'll just look like an, a boy with some natural makeup. And nah, I'm not about that life. I'm not about that natural life at all. I'm about that excess, about that extra. My friend, Sandra Deluxe, um, I always tell her, I'm like, you know why your name's Sandra Deluxe? And I'm like, why? Because you're extra. <laughs> Are there stores that will carry your makeup? Uh, it's mainly going to be online. Um, maybe some pro stores, but I don't really want to get distribution in any stores right now because you, you, your profit margin drops when you have to do wholesale. So I want to keep it mainly online, especially since I have a huge network of online distribution. When I use that primer, any primer, my foundation doesn't stay on. What, oh, I'm sorry, Vicky, uh, what kind of skin type do you have? See justice, see justice, me and you, we understand each other. And you know what? I wish nowadays it's so crazy because I wish we would be like how the Capitol and the Hunger Games dress. And I'm starting to see more people dress more crazier. Like they're starting to have like more, they're, they're like having more fun with how they dress. And I'm all, hell yeah. Even straight guys. I love it. Seeing straight guys in like pastel colors and like that's dope, dude. That's like if I was a girl, that's the kind of guy I'd be looking for. The lashes are Naboomsum, and they are the Lash Bella. I really like this highlighter because it doesn't bring out texture on your face, too. See, and that's when you just go like... <laughs> Tonight was my first time watching you, and I'm hooked. Oh, thank you, Elle. Yeah, please... Oh, so first of all, thank you guys for sharing. I know we've been asking that a lot, but obviously that's the only way that other people see this. So thank you for that because that means a lot. And then also if you followed my other pages, thank you for that as well. Um, you know, it's all my different platforms. So I'm going to definitely try to do more of this. I think I, I like the face. You know what? I like the Facebooks a lot more than the Instagram lives because it's, there's more people and it's more engaging. Oh, yay. I'm all about the indie brands, but I haven't had the chance to check out Sorme. Um, Sorme's bomb. Actually, Sorme's been around for 24 years. Um, they just barely started getting into the social media brand because they were a professional brand. So they were more like in Cosmo Probs and stuff. Mm. I'm getting the total burps. You know what I, I don't like about champagne is they make me burp the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, I don't care. I'm ghetto. I always tell people, bitch, I was born in, in, uh, in the Inland Empire. So if you know where that is, we all ratchet. But I actually usually drink, my drink of choice is tequila with sugar-free Red Bull. So that's usually what you'll see me on here. <laughs> I never highlight contouring. You made it look bad. Oh, thank you. Got a chug, chug, chug. Well, I don't know. There was a fly in here, so I don't know if I wanted to keep on. Oh, actually, that wasn't a fly. That <laughs> I thought there was a little fly in here, but it's a shaving from a lip liner. Oh, then I don't care. The lash brand is called Naboomsum. Um, I think I might have one here. It's, oh yeah, so it's N-U, Naboomsum, and it's spelled N-U-B-O-U-N-S-O-M. Nabunsum. <laughs> you somebody. <laughs> oh, I was I was so I was supposed to actually go to Thailand next week with Nyx, but I have this huge I, I but I can't because I like I have family obligations and I always feel like I always flake on my family, so I can't go. But you know, everything happens for a reason, so next time. Seriously I'm stuck on your brows, teach me your ways. Um, I always do my brows totally different. So sometimes I do them like where it's just like sus, 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 so they look like more natural or sometimes I will literally do them really light so they don't look like they're there. So it kind of depends. I got to dye my hair. So I dyed my hair black. Well, actually my friend dyed my hair black and it like came out to this like silvery color and I'm kind of digging it. But I want my black again. I want like my dark black. I'm coming to see my family next week in LA. Oh, I love it. I love me some Cali. <laughs> K 
Can you say hi to my daughter Chloe? Oh, hi Chloe. If you guys want to rewatch his live, make sure to share it so it's on your page. Oh, thank you. I love you, Angelica. Well, I'm Audi. Okay. Well, thank you guys for. Jo well, if you guys don't have any more questions for me, I think I'm going to go now so I could take some pictures of this and put it on the gram with all the details just in case you missed it. Um, hi. How do you say that? Jalen Roybal. Jalen. <laughs> So thank you again. This was awesome. Um, if you guys do like this, please let the people know. So um, uh, makeup goals, if you don't follow them or if you don't follow them, like them, start following them because they were the ones who reached out to me and asked me to do a live on Facebook. Um, I don't take no money for this. It's totally, I just love doing lives and I love growing this personal relationship with up and coming artists and just everyday people. So if you like this, please let them know. And until next time, um, bye, you guys. I will see you guys again soon. Um, all the information for my Instagram and all that is in my bio. So my Instagram is Hank and Henry. Uh, Facebook page is Hank and Henry Makeup and Motivation. And thank you, guys. <laughs> bye.